and welcome back to our channel Machinery and Technology. Today we have a true electrifying topic, construction of hydroelectric power plant. Generation of electricity by hydropower is one of the cleanest methods of the producing electric power. In 2012, hydroelectric power plants contribute about 16% of total electricity generation of the world. Hydroelectricity is the most widely used form of renewable energy. It is a flexible source of electricity and also the cost of electricity generation is relatively low. So if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. Copsware 2 is a pump storage project. The gross head of the project is 880 meters. The penstock length is 1200 meters. The penstock diameter is 3.8 meters. The project generated 614 gigawatt hours of electricity. The construction of Capsworth 2 began on the planet in September 2004. Blasting at three different locations provided access to the interior of the mountain. And a new power plant was built almost entirely underground. In total, there were up to 1,000 miners and builders. Technicians, other specialists, or delivery companies are busy implementing the huge construction project around the clock, 365 days a year. The water of the new power plant is stored in a capsule 1, at 1,800 meters above the sea level. In order to build a second inlet structure in the caps pressure, the lake had temporarily drained. A powerful tunnel boring machine milled at a 5.5 km long pressure tunnel from Cops to Tafamut. Where the pressure tunnel merges in the step pressure shaft, the Austerfermut moated castle was built, a complex system with two large chambers and a shaft. The approximately 1,200 meter long and jogging pressure shaft through which the water flows strictly downwards of the therefore comes under high pressure. And finally, at the valley floor, 200 meters deep in the mountain, the heart of a Capsford 2 was built, the huge machine cavern, with the three sets of the machines, each 38 meters high, each consisting of a turbine, generator and a storage pump. The advance was carried out exclusively by blasting, which was used to advance meter by meter. The large cavern was also created using conventional excavation. A few meters of rock were blasted at a time because the explosive charges were dimension just enough to avoid unnecessary danger. It was built in the USA and was last used in China. Because of its size, the drill head with a diameter of almost 6 meters could only be transported in two halves. When assembling the machine, it first had to adopt it for the new application. A team of technicians from all over the world spent weeks preparing the drill head and the 280 meters long trailer for use in the Versal tunnel. The precast concrete parts are precisely moving using hydraulic lifting devices. Heavy hydraulic cylinders hold the elements in a specific position until the cavity between the segments and the rock is filled with the gravel. In later step, the cavity filled with the gravel is filled with a cement suspension and injected. 
The few were in 1400, such parts were needed to line the few and a half kilometer long tunnel. Work also had to be done here in winter because the capse was specially drained to enable the construction of the new inlet structure. The inlet tunnel begins immediately behind the inlet structure. The water from the lake will flow through into the vessel tunnel. But first the tunnel had to be leaned with a concrete. And above all, a very crucial component is still missing here. Before the copse can be filled again, the first of two throttle valves must be installed in the barrier chamber behind the inlet tunnel as a shaft of the device of the lake. Each of the two SCO cold throttle valves weighed 92 tons. These already have a wide runway when they arrive at the construction site.
After the journey from the lower Austria to Monotophone, it was installed in a complex operation. It measures around 5 by 5 meters and weighed 95 tons. No wonder as the entire pump with all parts weighed 600 tons. The largest part of the pump is the pump spiral with a 7 meter diameter. The aim of the disrupt normal traffic as little as possible as transport needs to enter wide of the road or even a little more. Given the dimensions it will now be little tight in the access tunnel and later also in the assembly shaft. But it's exactly what we calculated years before so that the largest part just fit through and that's one of the biggest parts. Finally all the remains is to assemble and individual elements. With the help of the arm thick screws that can absorb of the enormous forces. Manual work is also required for these components. The pump suction manifold, which is now attached to the pump from below. But that's not the end of the installing the pump. Now the entire construction has to be moved to its final position below the converter, with the help of the hydraulic cylinders because there is no crane down there, that can handle the total weight of around 600 tons could lift. And despite these dimensions, in the end there is once again a margin of the 0.05 mm, that correspondent to the thickness of a hair. This is the heart of electricity generation, the generator and that is one of the two components of the generator, the stator. The non-moving part inside which the rotor will later rotate. It is equipped with the numerous rods, which are first wrapped in installation and then installed individually into the steel housing. Then it gets exciting, a test with a high voltage is supposed to show whether the installation really holds up. The state arrives on site in two halves. Only here is a put together and complete by installing the last windings. Both 130 ton cranes have to be used to transport it into the machine shaft, as the weight of the stator is now around 200 tons. And they are now lower centimeter by centimeter until they are fixed in their final location. And this is the second part of the generator, the rotor. It will only be completed in the machine cavern because the core alone weighed 135 tons. That's why the 12 pole plates of the rotor are first assembled here, so it ultimately weighs around 240 tons. And in this state is then slowly lowered into the interior of the stator, where the two parts will ultimately work together to convert the movement of the turbine into electrical energy. In normal operation the rotor reaches 500 revolution per minute. The dome, a kind of cover, is inserted between the generator and the turbine, which ensures that the water penetrates into the interior of the generator. <laughs> 